Hello viewers, I got good news and I got bad news. Good news is, uh, my sickness is going down. Hooray! The bad news is, my wisdom teeth are kicking in and now my mouth hurts. A lot. So, um, by the time you see this video, my mouth is being ripped apart to shreds. Sensitive content, simulated violence, ever- what? Wait, did <laughs> you give me a warning about a game? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I- I skipped it, I'm too late. Today, my dear viewers, we have the most intriguing cast of characters lined- uh, Wait, I- Stop! I can't read fast enough! From the concrete jungle of New York City- What? Where dreams come true- Oh my god, my mouth. I'm so sorry, everybody. Alright, I won't- I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk too much in this video. <laughs> Our wild card participant. Oh, this is me greeting everyone? What do I say? Greeting folks? That sounds too polite. Our final contestant needs no introduction. <laughs> okay. We have the in- Oh, my lord. Okay, you know what? I can't read this. Which is probably for the better. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle in this arena, so sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heat of madness. Let the games begin. I don't like how this is written. In medieval Europe, what was the name given to the outbreak of the bubonic plague that wiped out a significant portion of the population? Black Death, Scarlet Fever, Red Plague, Spanish Flu. I think the Europe screwed the Spanish. Alright, uh, Black Death it is. And the answer is... Yeah, I got it correct! Look at me, I did my history, I know what I'm doing. The devastating bubonic plague outbreak of medieval Europe was famously something because it reads too fast. Correct! Good job, Richard. I am so gonna see you after the show. I can talk? Okay, I think this is the where the game begins. I've been doing nothing else but complaining, and it's probably because I'm hiding the fact that I'm in pain. With this knife game coming up, who knows what will happen? I heard Sarah is not handling it too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through with one piece. I don't know if I can do this. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? I think that's the point of being stabbed. You're stronger than you think. We can find a way out. I don't care for you, Sarah. I'm after Richard. You really think so? Okay. Oh, I didn't know what the hell I said. It probably wasn't important. Ready for the knife game? Just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. You are ready to get- Oh wait, this is the- This is the announcer. I could probably do my announcer voice. So, you are ready to continue, or do you need another moment? I'm ready. I'm going after Richard, that slouching freak. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. Oh, I just skipped. At the end of the timer, the contestant with the lowest score will be the first to face elimination. Let the games begin. Oh, it's finger fillet. I am so good at this. I did this. Ow! Okay, I'm not at- I'm not- <laughs> Did I slice- Oh, I- I definitely am. Look at me. I'm so cool. I think Richard is cheating. Oh no, never mind. Wait, I, it's not fair. I didn't know what we were doing. I, I didn't know we were playing finger fillet. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you all have been waiting for. The unfortunate soul who will be pitting us a do tonight is none other than... Auto skip dialogues. Oh my god, if you told me this. And this. Why did no one tell me this? <laughs> is this part of the experience? Or did I genuinely break the game? <laughs> Oh, how do I keep doing this? Um. Um. <laughs> and all I'm trying to do is play a simple game of who wants to be a murderer. Which infamous cult leader orchestrated the mass suicide of his followers of Johnson? Whoa, 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 hold up. We went from the plague to Jonestown? How did we pull that off? Are we picking up speed? Oh, yeah, we definitely, we definitely are. Oh, okay. All right, okay, okay, okay. Yep, get ready. It's my turn. What is the term for the medical study of corpses? Oh, this is, uh, uh, uh. Hold on. Let me ask my Alexa, which is named something else. Echo. What is the term for the medical study of corpses? The term for the medical study of corpses is anatomical pathology. See, I called it in. Thank you. I used my call. <laughs> what? It's forensics. You didn't tell me it was forensics. Listen, I learned history, not medical. Oh, look at these people. They're so happy with their $10,000. Well, you're all gonna get screwed anyways. The unfortunate soul who will be bidding as a do tonight is none other than... Richard! Yeah, screw you, Richard. I knew you would die. Oh, were those chainsaws? 
he can't really be dead, can he? Those screams sent chills down my spine. He was screaming? He was screaming in subtext. <laughs> Sorry, my joke was so bad it made me laugh. Here we are, let's continue with the show. We're diving straight into our second round of questions, where the contestant's moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Ah, Felix, here's the question. You're offered immortality, but innocent lives must be sacrificed. What is your answer? <laughs> oh, man, look at all these options that I would definitely say yes to. This is how who, or who wants to be a murderer, right? So if I was a murderer, hypothetically, in theory, I just hit the mic. Eagerly, I would want to do it. Because who's going to stop me? No one. Hmm... Ooh, I got 15,000. Look how cool I am. Well, folks, it seems we're off to the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Sarah? I can't believe I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Listen, I, I thought we were opening up about our feelings, all right? I want to kill, hypothetically. Watch your back, mate. Oh, he's British? Why do you have to be br- I now want you dead! Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare comedy in these parts. <laughs> Crazy, ain't it? <laughs> so, Felix, are you ready to continue, or do you need another moment? I think I'm ready. I just need a break, because my mouth hurts so bad. I want to bite Edgar. Look at him. Look at him in his flashing light. I want to bite him. Okay, my break is done. I just walked around in a circle. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Welcome back, folks. We're alive again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. Looper the Last Mission, a small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves and is available at an incredible price of zero dollars. It's time to introduce our next phase, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now to avoid un- oh my mouth, ow. Now to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants would be eliminated and there'd be no winner. So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. Sarah is so dead. <laughs> Wait, I have to vote? Um, man, can we vote Edgar? I don't, we don't want the British in here, right? The, the British screwed us up enough with our taxes. Now, Sarah, who are you voting for? I need some time to think. Edgar, thank you, Sarah. And finally, the champ, Edgar. Sarah. Alright, we have a winner. Or should I say, an unlimited contestant. Edgar, you're out of the game. Thank God we got the British out. Listen, no hate to the actual British, I'm just saying. Felix, your question awaits. What is the approximate volume of blood loss that typically leads to death in an average adult human? I got <laughs> Um. Um. Can I? Can I do? Can I do another call? Hold on, I think my mom would know. You're, 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 you're on call, Ma. What's that? You're on call. You're on a show called Who Wants to Be a Murderer? What? The question is, what is the approximate volume of blood loss that typically leads to death in an average adult human? Their percentages. 40, 40 to 50. Like, it makes no, the question makes no sense. <laughs> if you lose half your blood... You die. Mom, I am. My life is on the line right now. Host is looking at me. When you die, you don't really catch the blood. It all pulls to your butt. We're going to 20 30%. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and the answer is wrong. God damn it, Mom. Life essence, a delicate balance, lose 40 to 50% blood. She was right. No. <laughs> Let's hear it, Sarah. Questions up. How long does it typically take for a lethal dose of cyanide to cause death in humans? Why could I not get this question? My guess is five to ten minutes. And the answer is correct. Of course she's correct. She's because, ooh. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. Hope, you'll all, hope you're all handy with a rifle. A rifle? Thank you for getting us this far, but I'm afraid it's everyone for himself now. That is ironic, because you have $15,000, and I'm still gonna pop you. Well, Felix, it's that time we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to face the final showdown? Or do you need a moment to gather yourself? I'm ready to do this. I will not let my mother down. You have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. 
there's just one final step to truly define yourself as such. Action! And so, this last phase, you will be armed with a rifle and 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the new champion of the dazzling episode of our game show. Let the festivities begin. Why are they cheering? Oh, this is so good. I never felt so alive. Look how much volume is losing from their bodies. It was called Buckshot Roulette, and I think I am getting more wins out of this. This is horrible. This hurts me than it hurts you because I am the one talking and I got wisdom teeth. Oh, Sarah, I am so, so not sorry. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than... No, please, don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll beg. Felix! Yay! I just did murder. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... Okay, ending two out of four. I wonder what the other endings are. I don't know if I can do this, Felix. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? Trust me, I've seen you get hurt. It was not really that great. Think I need to get out of here. Yes, you do. That way I can win. No, hang in there. No, I want them to leave. Yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. Thank you, Felix. I appreciate your understanding. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, how, how, how unfortunate. I did not do that, people. <laughs> Are you sorry about Sarah? Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Sarah. I... <laughs> who shot her? With this knife game coming up, who knows what will happen? Tough break about Sarah, huh? But hey, this game isn't about the faint of heart. You just spared her from suffering. It's survival of the fittest, after all. Really? Oh, now you make me feel bad. Okay, you and me, Richard. I had our differences, and your slouchy neck can get us out of here. You find out your friend has been secretly stalking someone for months. What's your next move? Brush it off as harmless curiosity? Distance yourself? Confront your friend and seek help? Offer to join in on the adventure? They say secretly stalking someone for months. Like, who, who is this person, right? I need to know who they're stalking because I'm curious too. So, it's come down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Yes, Richard. We've been here before. Edgar, the champ. He's in trouble. For me, and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the final, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear out the path for us? Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, Richard, we're going out of the Brit. Before we kick things off, gotta say, I like the answers you gave the last round. You're holding your own pretty well. I'm just, I'm just a fan of the show. I'm doing my best. Why are you asking me this? Oh, music changed. I, uh, I... Uh, what do I, what do I, I, yeah, I'm just a fan of the show. Oh, really now? Well, color me impressed. Always nice to meet a dedicated viewer. Okay, let's continue. Felix, who are you voting for? We are voting for Edgar. Richard, what about you? No hesitation. Edgar. And finally, the champ, Edgar. Felix. <gasps> How dare you? Well, it's two versus one, you Brit. What is the estimate time it takes for a body to completely decompose in soil? <sighs> you know what? <laughs> you know what this means. <laughs> Mother. Yeah? I need your help for another question. Okay. Uh, I think this one will be easier on you. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm just saying. What is the estimated time it takes for a human body to completely decompose in soil? Six to eight okay. years? Three to five years, nine to twelve years, or one to two years? Alright, let's see. I'm going to keep you on speaker this time to see if I get it right. And the answer is... It's wrong, Mom. It's wrong. Okay, well, Mom, you tried your best. The final showdown, or do you need a moment to gather yourself? I need a second to prepare, because I want to talk to Richard. Here we are. No more games or tricks from now on. It's just you and me left. But I'm sorry. I'll be the one walking away victorious. I'll make sure your opponent's rifle is, let's say, not at its best. Mr. Host, I'm flattered. Why? <laughs> Just a little advantage to even the odds, eh? Okay. 
I'll accept this deal. How are you doing back there, Richard? I, I, I don't hear any firing on your end. Richard, you... Okay, you hit nine. That's crazy. Woo! I won! I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I'm not gonna be active for maybe a few days, because, yeah, I'm gonna get my face ripped apart, and maybe the dentists are gonna be absolute murderers to my teeth. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, y'all.